Hey guys, get excited because we're doing nose contouring today. So I already moisturized my face with Kate Somerville's Nourish, and now I'm taking LA Girls Pro Coverage Foundation, and I'm going to make a nice smooth base on my face, and put this all over with a Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. So blending that out, make sure that you have a nice smooth base all around, especially in the nose area, because that is where we're going to be focusing on today. So be sure to blend this foundation out and create a smooth base. Now taking Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer in Medium, I'm going to do a triangular shape down the eyes and on the sides of the nose. We're going to put a nice amount on the sides of the nose so that we kind of make the nose look a little bit more thin, creating an illusion that you have a much thinner nose structure. Now I'm taking my Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge. You want to make sure this is damp and I'm blending out the concealer and blending out the sides of my nose with a patting motion. So we want to make sure that we get the absolute best coverage that we can. That is why I am patting and slightly sliding, not too much wiping or anything like that because you're going to wipe away the product. So I'm really patting this into the nose, making sure that I get the inner corner as well because that is still part of the nose structure. So you want to make sure that you blend that all out and make sure that you have enough product and lightness on the sides of the nose. So again, you'll see me pressing and pressing just to make sure that I have enough coverage there so we can have a nice smooth contour. I also like to take the rest of the product, like any excess product, and just kind of contour the rest of my face and blend that out. Now for contouring, I'm taking the NW45 Studio Perfecting Stick by MAC and I'm going to make an M, I guess you would say, with my nose. You can see here, it looks like a little M, so I'm outlining the bottom of my nose. And then I'm going to outline the corners of my nose, like the little creases there, and kind of deepen that. Make a little line there, as you can see. Showing you guys as best as I can. And then we're going to contour the sides. So I'm going to just go from the top of my brow in the front and going down the sides of my nose a little bit thinner than the actual structure of my nose. So I'm going a little bit more in, as you can see. It's just a little bit thinner, just to kind of make that illusion that my nose is a little bit thinner. Now taking the Cover Effects Light Medium Contour Kit, I'm using shade one, and I'm using this brush from Iconic. I love this little brush because it's just perfect for this part of my nose. So I create a dot on the tip of my nose and then I color in, I guess you would say, the lines. So I color in the sides, right on the nostrils. And then I highlight the sides of the nose as well because we want to create that illusion that the nose is thinner in the middle. And then I'm going to go just down the middle with the line going up and down but not touching that dot like leaving a little bit of space as you can see and that is really how I contour my nose I love creams because they're a little bit more natural and you can see close up how exactly I draw everything out now I'm going to blend everything out with the quickie blending sponge from Tarte again and I'm going to just blend from the outside in so I'm gonna start with the sides of my nose and then kind of go in from there. Starting with the sides, just pushing the product in, going on the nostrils, then blending out the bottom of the nose. I'm lightly, lightly touching. I want to make sure that the product stays put. I don't want to really move it anywhere, so that's why I am patting and, you know, kind of keeping that product in that place. Here, I just pat the little dot on my nose because I want to keep that highlighted. Now I'm taking the tip of the blender and I'm going to follow the lines where I contoured. So I'm just going up and down, blending that out, keeping the product in the same place, and just blending it out. I always use my fingers too, just to kind of blend it out even more. The warmth of your fingers will just help a little bit too. Then I'm going into the center, finishing that up and just patting that all over and then I just kind of touch with my fingers again and there's your contoured nose see it's not crazy contoured it's natural it's more contoured and structured and sculpted now I'm going to set the contour and highlight with the Laura Mercier setting powder kind of pushing this into the sides of my nose making sure that 
those sides look bright so that it looks a lot smaller towards the center of my face. So I'm just going to add a little bit more on the sides. I want to make sure that this bakes really, really well. Then I'm going to take an F40 and just slightly set the contour with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Powder. I use the edge of the brush. After a few minutes, after putting my blush and stuff, I use the F25 to wipe away all of the baking powder. Love this brush for that. I blend it out again a little bit with my fingers. If I feel like I need to touch up a little bit more, I'll you know work with the blender again, but I'm mostly wiping everything away. Now to set the face, I'm using Tatcha Sui Miss Bright. I absolutely love this stuff, especially for dry skin. And we're throwing it back with Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. I'm taking a Morphe M501 and I'm just going to highlight the bridge of the nose and take my finger and blend it all out and do the tip. And that's it you guys. This is the before and <laughs> this is the after. What do you guys think? I really feel that I take more of a natural approach. I don't go too crazy with it. As you can see again here, it's just more structured and contoured and sculpted and I just feel like it looks more slim. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already and like and thumbs up this video and hit that bell if you want to know when I put up a new video. Bye guys!